super stressed because I feel like this is the, it's literally the last chance. So I get really stressed about like this is the last chance we do the, do this dance or that dance. So yeah. if we mess it up, I'm like, there's, never there's again. no other shot. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Today is the final performance for my dance company, Company 360, and it's going to be a very busy day. I'm at the theater preparing, I'm gonna warm up the dancers, and then we have a very long show ahead. I super wanna make sure that when we blow out the candles at the end that it's immediate black, and I did text Mike about that, and he was like, can we leave it like cool red with the silhouette? And I was like, no, normally I get that, and normally we have a shared effect. aesthetic, but I said, the the key here is the whole audience needs to be totally left in the dark, like what just happened. Okay. I believe that a good artistic director should be the first person to show up and the last person to leave, but I'm lucky that I have such an amazing, supportive group of people who also show up early with me. I have an amazing stage manager. I have my husband. I have my best friend, Jonathan, who's gonna be in the show. And both of my girls also get dragged along. I don't have a lot of time, I think less than three hours at this point, and we have to put this show on. All of the items that I have to tackle, I have to do at the same time. I'm making sure that Bailey gets through it and, and survives this show. And so then I'm on stage and I'm trying to time my sniffles like, like when I'm away <laughs> from the audience so that, <laughs> so that nobody sees. Um, have you nebbed yet? I have not nebbed yet. Then I can do the veils and you can go nebb. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I can just pull them out and separate them, right? Okay. Okay. Go. Shoot. All right. <laughs> Ugh, there's not enough time. There's just like half a dose left. <laughs> Tonight's performance is really important to me because I think, though I don't admit it, Approaching every show, there is a very huge part of myself that doubts that I will physically get there. So in recovering from this previous surgery, there's this little part of myself that I try to ignore who, who worried that I would make it here. And I really am sort of making it onto the stage in the nick of time because now I have another surgery and complication coming up. Okay, so tonight is our last. So today what I would like you to do is when you're backstage and you're doing your hair and your makeup and stuff is take a second to think about what this show is ultimately about. In full honesty, I'm feeling rather terrible uh, going into <laughs> the show tonight. Did you nab today? I nebbed earlier. Sure. Yes, I did. Okay, did you drink water? Yes, I'm did okay. Did you eat? I'm all right. Stop worrying about me. Okay. Sure? Stop worrying about me. Stop worrying about Come me. Come on. Thank you. Stop Come worrying on. about me. <laughs> but I was able to rally and we're going to have a good show and the show must go on. Did you hear half hour? I did not. Okay. There you go. You've been informed. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's stressful. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Comedy 360. Presents. Since I'm kind of on stage partnering with her, like I get, have to kind of keep an eye on her body language and see what she's needing. It's something that I, having known her for long enough, try to do without her because <laughs> I know she does get frustrated when people bring it up to her and talk about her or make her do stuff, but she needs it. Otherwise, she wouldn't be getting this far. At the end of the day, I have too many people to name that I am thankful for who've helped get me through the last few months and get us onto the stage. This really is a full team and family effort. It's such an intense drive that she has uh, that it is unquellable. She will push through every dam that's put in front of her. Sometimes I'm that dam and she just pushes directly through me because she has dreams. I couldn't be more proud of the accomplishments she has had. Through being with Company 360, starting it from the scratch, and being here for only about a year and a half, she's made huge grounds. And I think this show in particular is really a, 
an extra step up into what she's been able to accomplish. Everyone is really getting a positive vibe from everything she's done and couldn't, I couldn't be more proud of her. I can never speak highly enough of her work ethic and, and her drive and her humanity and just who she is as a person. When it actually all comes together and I get to see it all there, everything that I go through relating to health or pain or even just three days ago when I thought I might have to go to the hospital, all that stuff completely washes away with the stage lights and I'm just so grateful that I could call this a job and that I can call this a life. It's a privilege.